First and foremost, y'all, excuse how I look. I've had a long day, been shopping all day today, and I've been in my car basting myself like a turkey because I don't want to get sick. I refuse to be cold. I don't like being cold. And we're towards the end of my cycle right now, so y'all already know how that go. We're not about to be cold, but I just want to show y'all really quickly what I got from Target. Some real nice Target pickups. Um, yeah, we got some really good stuff, y'all. I want to show y'all this. Um, this is my first video. As y'all can t see, as y'all can tell, um, anything self-care, body care, you know, all things relatable, girly, dainty, all of those things, you know. Stick around, subscribe, like, comment, all of those things. Share what you want to do. Like I said, I know I look rough right now, y'all, but in the morning, I am getting my hair done. And that's what this vlog is, just kind of pre-maintenance for the holidays because, <sighs> girl, this semester was so hard, like, I ain't never, I have never went through a semester this difficult, and it was really because it's my first semester back, um, at my school, um, so, yeah, when I got some personal things today, I was really supposed to be going to pick up some AirPods and a TV, but the Target that we have here where I am, I'm in Alabama, by the way, the Target that we got, it's a Target here, but it's not a super Target, so, yeah, y'all, excuse me if I start out of breath because, like I said, I am really hot. I just got out of my car and told all of this stuff in here. But, yeah, let's look at this stuff that I got because I'm hot and I just want to shower, y'all. But we're not going through no shower routine tonight. We're just going through this stuff that I'm about to use tonight. And then we can get cute another night, but not tonight. <sighs> so, baby, you already know. You already know what that's about. You know what that's about. I got some more stuff, actually. Um, so. I got more soap. I'm trying to see my soap. Because I look for the rest of my home. Looking for the rest of my self-care stuff. And girl, we need all our self-care stuff in one bag. Um, but yeah, Target, Target is my store, baby. Target's my store. I'm not a Walmart chick. I'm sorry. It's just something about Target. The vibes just be so off in Walmart. Like, y'all know how I go to Walmart and it just ain't right in there. It don't be right in there. But I'm not even going. I'm not here to bash Walmart. Walmart, I'm sorry. Y'all millionaires. I'm not a millionaire right now, so I'm not even going to bash y'all. Wait, baby. I got my plush white. I got my plush white pack. And this is hand towel. Well, dang. This is bath towels and hand towels. And I really needed some towels, especially hand towels. And I got, um, oh, this is for bath. Yeah, I showed you my soap. And I literally picked this up for what? For why? This was $7. Mm. It's pink. I like pink. Um, y'all, so this is what I really want to show y'all. This is a hand serum. I feel like maybe I should show y'all this way. Let's go this way. So, yeah. This is a hand serum. And I don't know who wouldn't want to buy this. Like, it's a vitamin B3 complex. And for the winter, it's definitely because my hands get really dry. I wash my hands 24-7. So, I really need this. And then they have the hand mask that goes with this. So, this is the same thing coupled together. And, oh my God. Like, the packaging is really what got me. And I got two because when I buy a mask, these are usually like the sheet masks that come with the moisture in the pack. They're usually like $2.99, $3.99, depending on, you know, what kind you get, what brand. But usually in the like Target or Walmart drugstore, they're going to be $3.99 under. So I got two, you know, just because I might want to share with somebody or I might want to do it back to back, just get a full dosage. So that's that. And I'll show y'all how that goes if y'all want me to, because this, this just looks like something something that you need like it's the packaging that really got me like i said like the little hand it's just the detail ole has been stepping up that game i'm telling y'all again um then we got these ollie vitamins now i'm telling y'all right now please my body because when i start taking these i literally lost this luxurious not luxurious i'm trying to say another word it's a word um you got a shirt in it. I don't know the word right now. But I lost it out of my skin. And it has hyaluronic acid in it. 
if you don't know what that is please get on to, get into it get onto it get in it baby now because i'm telling y'all like i'm telling y'all they had my skin be so good i promise okay because this camera a little heavy i'm sorry we're gonna stop switching the angle so much okay because i'm getting the hang of this please don't judge me just love me don't judge me okay coming back um uh, girl come on now there we go very good very good um these are energy vitamins this is vitamin b12 with a goji berry and then something else that i really can't read or understand so i'm not gonna try um but these are really good too if you're like a tired person especially as females we get tired we have a very how do i say this we have a very long month every month because if you got it educated on your cycle all oh, the lighting thank you if you got it educated on your cycle and how your hormones span from week to week we really only get one plain week of being normal because you have your ovulation week pms week which is pre menstrual and then your menstrual week. I, like it's like we don't get a freaking break so i started taking these like after my high school graduation because i was going through a lot and i found myself always tired and i'm pretty sure that's when i started taking these but my energy picked up really quick so those are that and then i got these these are so cute y'all look they had sugar cookie too but i what's up with you come on okay we ain't gonna worry about that okay yo so this is candy cane then this is under the mistletoe no fresh mistletoe these ones so good and they didn't have, I didn't even see no big one of this one. I think I need to smell some coffee because I've been smelling a lot of stuff so I can't really smell. This kind of smells like a man's scent, but it also smells sweet too. And I kind of like unisex stuff sometimes, so it just depends on you. But go to Target because they have these, and this was like $2.99. But this candy cane smells like straight up candy cane, and I feel like it's really cute for the holidays. And that's why I got tiny ones because they'll be over and gone and through with by the time, you know. This should be this should be going by January. Yeah, these should be going by January. Because they're really little. And then like oh I didn't show you my dub deodorant. Y'all know what that's about. This is a zero percent aluminum one. This is sensitive. I got this one because I'm tired of smells. You feel me? Like I just wanted no smells. And that's why I also got this. The body wash I was talking about. Y'all already know what that is. This is intimate. Irritation care. I don't know why I was about to say intimate care. This is irritation care. I've never had this one, but this is fragrance free for dry, itchy skin and eczema. So, you know, no smell. I just wanted no smell stuff because I am about to go get some perfumes and we're going to be doing that tomorrow too. So, I just wanted fragrance free things because. I don't want to be smelling like something. I'm, I'm kind of over smells right now in the shower. Like, I want to just smell like my perfume and then my lotion or even sometimes i have unscented lotions too i just get tired of smells you know so sometimes you just want to not have all of that mixture going on because then it's kind of hard to layer your perfume if you're a perfume person it's hard to layer your perfume because to me it's like it's just too many scent notes on top of scent notes on top of soap it's just too much and right now i just don't feel like doing all that um i'm trying to keep up um category because i was about to go into some dental but we're gonna do dental last and then with the soap this is ole once again girl i'm telling you okay fuck, yeah i'm gonna step out the camera <laughs> so you can focus y'all this is my first time recording on this camera it's just my first time y'all everything like getting everything like i didn't barely practice recording on this camera at all and this is a sony zv1 i will put that in the description box too so i can see that if y'all want to know but yeah this is the um this is ole for eczema and the bottles are just so cute and it's really heavy but it's also lightweight it's a cute little bottle this got that vitamin b3 as well and oat extract and it smells good it smells like eczema cream you know with the little oats nothing special nothing crazy no smell really it's like oat but no smell so that's what i wanted because like i said i'm on a no smell tip right now so that's good and then more olay y'all Please hook me up with Olay because what's up, Olay? Yeah. <laughs> um, this is Jasmine. Step out of the camera so you can focus. 
Girl, if you like Jasmine, if you are a set person and you like Jasmine, I'm telling you, please. It is so strong. Oh, I just love smelling good. But I got this because it does have the hyaluronic acid in it too. Like I said, all of all that been step of the back game, but they moisture, baby. They want you to be moisturized. And I want to be moisturized, so yeah. We're here. But um cleansing and nourishing hand wash, no subjects. But and look how pretty like come on. That's so beautiful. In your bathroom, yeah. Yes. And y'all, so I finally switched over to an electronic toothbrush. I wanted this one and not the um, Sonic Care one. I didn't want that Sonic Care one because I felt like this is the one that they use at a dentist with the one little, little, little bristle brush, the one little brush head. So this is the one I wanted. I wanted the light pink one, but they didn't have the light pink one. And I really wanted to go ahead and get it because I just wanted it. Now, I, I'm not a patient person. Y'all can notice that, but we're gonna work on that video. I got that, cause yeah. But this is a Pro 1000 Oral B. If, um, I'm reading the Spanish side. Pro 1000 Oral B removes 300% more plaque. So how much plaque do we have? That's what it says. Y'all, please excuse me. We'll look better tomorrow. I will make up for it tomorrow because, ooh, sure. Um, yeah. Deep cleaning action, handle, charger, brush head, you know, you know how to brush your teeth. And then I got, I finally got these two. This is my first time trying these, so we're going to see how this go. I don't feel like I have the most non-white smile, but I don't feel like I have the whitest smile. Like, I need more, more, you know, more of that crest advertisement type of smile. Like, I need that more. You feel me? When you smile, I want it to just blind folks. That's what I want. Not with beauty, but also with brightness. That's what I want. So we're going to try these. I'm going to get on these. And they better work because everybody and their mama swear these work. So they better work. <sighs> I, got so um, I just got some water. I thought there was something else. And finally, I got this because I feel like I don't focus on my gums enough. My gum heels. I don't have nothing that says gum heels. So I really want to get this. And this was $6.99. And when you growing up. And you see something that's this big and it's only $6.99, you could go ahead and pick it up. That's what you do. Because the little TheraFresh, I think that's what it's called, TheraFresh, the one that's really good for your breath. I'm assuming all stuff is good for your breath, so, but I wanted this because I feel like my, I bleed a little bit too much for my liking. And so it's for gum sensitivity, all of that. But the TheraFresh is only like, it's like this big, this tall. And so it's $8. So I was like, I'm just going to get this one. Because right now, I'm sorry, quant quantity over quality right now. Because I can go back and get the third fresh when I feel like it. But right now, I just wanted something quick. I just wanted more. You feel me? I just wasn't. I spent $200, y'all. And I already wasn't trying to do that. So I just wanted to get more bang for my buck. More bang for my buck. And then I got this right here. And I really hope that this toothpaste works. This is the Moon Essentials. And I'm sorry if I'm showing y'all stuff too fast. Let me know if you need to, the name of anything. Because I just noticed I didn't name the brands or some of this stuff neither. Because y'all, I'm really tired. I'm just trying to show y'all this stuff so y'all can see some self-care pickups before I, I pick down in this bed. Um, but yeah, this is coconut oil infused, fluoride free, whitening, freshening toothpaste. They really want you to buy these because they give you so many adjectives. And this is in mint. I don't like the fact that you can't I don't like the fact that you can't taste test toothpaste. So at this point, I don't even care what the, the taste say. I try to read the taste, but what's the difference between clean mint and fresh mint and regular mint and icy mint? Like, girl, what do that even mean? Like, literally, what does that mean? Like, icy, fresh? Ain't that all the same? But yeah, that's what this is, girl. I am happy with my purchases, y'all. I just be talking crap. But yeah, this is cute. I like the way this looks. I like the basic colors about it. I like how simple it is. I really like this. I just like, like, it feels so, it make you want to brush your teeth three times a day. It feels smooth in the hand. You know, I just like the simplicity, the aesthetic of it all. 
but the coconut oil is definitely something I'm looking for because I don't know if y'all have heard about um, swishing the coconut oil around your mouth and replacing that for mouthwash instead, but it definitely works. And it's not for the weak though. Like you gotta really swish it around. It's gonna taste disgusting. But I did notice some whitening. I did notice my mouth feeling a lot less dirty. Like it cleans your mouth and it's supposed to like detox your mouth and draw the toxins out of your body through your mouth into the coconut oil. I mean, it's science and we love some good science for some good beauty exchange, okay? So yeah, that's all the beautiful things that I got y'all. And I will see y'all tomorrow when we go get our hair done and keep this self maintenance thing going. So yeah, I will see y'all in the morning. My hair appointment is at 9.30 a.m. And I'm not where my hair appointment is. I will be getting up and I will be trying there. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so y'all just pray for me. I hope, I just hope that it's not pouring down. I can do a little drizzle, you know, that's nothing. But that pouring down rain, this shit, oh, sorry, that stuff be pissing me off. I really don't want to cuss too much on here, y'all, because YouTube did not play about that, but yeah. We're going to be looking so cute tomorrow. And my eyebrows are already done. I'm supposed to get my nails done, but that did not happen because I haven't, like I said, I have not been here in the city that I'm in. I go to University of North Alabama. So I've not been in this city since COVID hit. So it has been a long time coming for me. Y'all, I am in college. As you can see, I just said that video. It's just been a lot of things going on. So I'm just trying to take care of myself. This is my first apartment. Just trying to, you know get in a grown girl groove grown girl vibe so like i said i'll see you in the morning get our hair done we're going shopping we're just gonna do some fun things and we're getting this skin together because i don't know how my skin looks for real i don't know this camera has my skin looking flawless because this is a nice this is a nice camera but i don't really know how my skin is looking to y'all but i'll see you when y'all see it but my skin don't look that great to me in person it could be better than this. It could be luminous. That was the word I was looking for, but I kept saying the true word. Luminous don't got a true in it. But I was trying to say luminous skin when I was talking about those gummies. Yeah, this ain't luminous skin. This ain't luminous skin. Not to me, not right now. I'm, I, mm -mm. I'm not feeling it. It just ain't giving me what it's supposed to get. But honey, I'm gonna get. So at this point, y'all, we did not get our hair done. Um, the weather didn't permit at all we were under a tornado watch in florence so it definitely was not going to happen i was very very upset very frustrated i didn't get much sleep so i decided that i was gonna go get my nails done because yeah but i was having me a little snack of sushi time was not on my side i was trying to rush and eat it was just a lot of go um a lot of things going on um i didn't get no rest because of the tornado watch thing and everything was just really crazy so okay so it's 6 15 p.m and i did get my nails done and i did get my toes done too got the sns powder and stuff but it was just like child today was rough like i know y'all started looking very aggravated um earlier in the clips that i showed y'all before i was supposed to take y'all with me i did take y'all with me but when i got to the nail place the vibes was all the way off the people was acting a little bit crazy and i was just trying to not get upset because it just wasn't the best experience it wasn't the worst experience but it wasn't one of my best experiences but they look decent they look good i'm happy um i wish that it was a little bit more um like baby pink instead of this i don't know what kind of pink that's called but i wish it was more baby pink but i'm about to set my alarm we still are going to get our hair done we're a day late on getting our hair done because of things that happened um yeah so i just been frustrated honey i'm one of the people like when well, my hair not done nails not done and I set my appointments, the appointments get appointments get canceled or something crazy happens. I get very upset. So y'all, we're just about to have a relaxing night. I'm about to cook and just relax. And then in the morning, we will be getting our hair done tomorrow, which is 
the 14th is tomorrow. I'm supposed to get her hair done like three days ago. But it's all good. It's all good because God is still good. I'm not going to complain. But yeah, I will see y'all in the morning. I'm going to go get her hair done. Okay, good night. So at this point, y'all, we went from December 13th to December 16th. Um, a couple days after, I was not able to get my hair done due to circumstances that were totally out of my control, totally out of my stylist control. So we just um, tried to reschedule again and it didn't happen. Um, the weather really didn't permit in Florence. We were under um, tornado watch. And then, like I said, it was just things that both her and me could not control at all. So we ended up just um not doing that and then this morning i was obviously aggravated because i wasn't able to get my hair done on time i just felt like the universe was not on my side honey like i couldn't get my hair done but i was making me a nice little cozy breakfast because i just want to make sure i did that just to treat myself since i wasn't going to be able to get my hair done i was upset exhausted i had been losing sleep trying to make sure i was getting my appointments together and it was still falling through so it was just a really stressful couple of days but this morning we're making us some really good breakfast and that's what was going on yeah. don't want to sound full of myself a room, but you looking at no other dudes cause you love me i'm sorry baby so you think about the chance You find yourself trying to do my dance Maybe because you love me So then we try Singing it slow now Because you weren't used to how fast We touched Fast Touched up Then we locked eyes And I knew I wasn't there And I was gonna tell You asked how I'm gonna tell
So at this point y'all, I was done cooking and I was just really ready to eat, really excited to eat y'all. Please don't judge me in the clip prior where I um, looked like I forgot to cook an omelet, how to cook an omelet. Cause I just put the, I cracked the egg into the pan, but then I whisk it. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what was going on. I think I just forgot how to cook an omelet, but this breakfast was really delicious. I was just really happy to eat, excited to eat. Like I'm a foodie, so I was just in a rush. So do not judge me, I'm not stupid. I just, I don't know what happened. I just, I, I don't know. I hadn't cooked the omelet in a long time, but y'all, this food was so good. Like, it was really delicious. And those bantam bagel things, those bagel things are from Publix. They, they used to sell them at Starbucks, but they discontinued them from Starbucks. So I got them from Publix and they're very, very good. So I would try those if y'all into that stuff. But yeah, that's what we did. It's been maybe a day or two since I last talked to y'all. Um, I just got back home at my house um, from the grocery store to pick up a few last minute things before I head to my hometown for Christmas. Um, I already told y'all about what happened with my hair. We still getting our hair done tomorrow for sure. That's definite that's for sure that's happening um but yeah 
I went to Sephora the day that I was supposed to get my hair done that I showed y'all. But yeah, I didn't get my hair done that day, but I was supposed to. But I did still go to Sephora and I'm still going to Sephora again because I got to pick up um, a Christmas gift for my cousin. But she's coming with me, so I was like, she's going to pick it out. But yeah, so I want to share all this stuff that I got really quick because I love Sephora. And if you love Sephora, I think you should listen because I'm about to give you some good stuff especially if you like skincare and perfume and this color that i got on right now um yeah because like i said we're going to sephora again so we'll have the in-store vibe but right now y'all just gonna have to set up for these at home vibe because we still went to sephora so it's like sephora picks we love some sephora picks but yeah let me show you all this stuff and then i'm gonna pack for tonight um i guess i could show y'all me packing I don't know if that's interesting anymore in general because it's literally just for I don't have I don't even have all of my clothes that's another problem I don't have all of my clothes I ordered stuff from Fashion Nova twice the first time I just ordered with regular shipping and then I looked at the shipping day and it said not till like Christmas and then I was like dang what was I thinking about then I ordered again the second time and I got expedited shipping and that stuff just came in a few days ago so yeah, I'm gonna share all this stuff that I got some from blah blah. I'm gonna share all this stuff that I got from Sephora because I got some really good stuff and I've been waiting to get this stuff and it was just amazing. It was really good. And I also got some soaps and bath bombs. Okay y'all, so the first product we have is the Dior Attic Stellar Lip Gloss. Mm -hmm. This is in shade Dior So Light. I think that's how you say it. Dior So Light. Um, this is a nude pink. It says nude by the description on Sephora app, but it's a nude pink to me. Um, that's 354. That was the um, number that it is. Because y'all know these companies have so many lip glosses, but I really, really love this tube. I love the way that Dior on there is kind of pink. Um, I love the packaging. It's supposed to have hydration for 24 hours plus. Um, I could say it's pretty hydrating. It smells like cotton candy. It smells very, very good. So if you like stuff like that, I would definitely put that on your um, list of things to get from Sephora. This lip gloss was thirty um, dollars, by the way. Which I mean, it's a Dior lip gloss, so it's not very surprising. It could have been forty five. So I just trip. I treated myself and got it. So yeah. Um, these next things are the Hum Daily Cleanse. So I got this from Kyra um, Monique. Um, if y'all know her, y'all know that this is something that she put her subscribers on to. And I am one of her subscribers. So I was like, I don't really want to try these. I've been meaning to try these for a long time. But they were finally um, something that I got around to picking up. I do take a lot of different probiotics. Like I showed y'all those Ali Skin Gummies earlier. So I like to take a lot of stuff for my skin specifically because I want to directly target that. I want to like really pull that out, pull that to the side and address that because I don't play by my skin, but you will, y'all will learn it about me very fast. But like the capsule is pretty small, it smells like it looks, it smells green. Um, I haven't tried this out yet, but when I do, y'all will know all about it. Um, it has the probiotics, the splurina, splurinia, however you say that, but that's something that I see a lot in probiotics, so it's very important. So, yeah, definitely get those. Um, next is the clean perfume the skin scent um, this is the reserve blend this is something that I have really grown to love I had a travel size first but then I went ahead and got this big bottle Sephora was doing a 20% off sale so I got this for $72 instead of it being at $90 which is not bad because when I put this bottle out y'all will see why it's so much because you get a very very good amount in my opinion um it's pretty big like it's pretty big and you get a lot of perfume for $90 which what I feel like this bottle no I don't feel like it is what this bottle is and like time for it would be like probably $300 $500 but yeah it's very clean it smells exactly like skin it smells like soap getting fresh out of the tub like I literally smelled like this perfume the other day and I had just got out of the tub and I was like this is definitely what the perfume should be named because it's definitely what it smells like um, it has vanilla and musk and sweet gourmands um, and salted praline. The keynotes are fresh musk, some type of oil. I cannot 
pronounce that and then salted praline so yeah that's definitely something that i'm into and if you like vanilla i definitely definitely would go pick that up or at least get the travel size just smell it um then we have the ordinary so the ordinary is skincare so we'll step into the skincare stuff right now this is a toning solution this right here is something that i also got from kyra um it's a toner like I said but it's an exfoliating toner so the difference is going to be that this is going to be like exfoliating every time you use it but it's going to be gentle but if you do have sensitive skin I don't know if this is something you should do I have sensitive skin myself but I was just willing to try this out due to the fact that I trust Kyra um like I said you know her you know that she puts her subscribers on so I trust her so I wanted to try this in this bottle retails for eight dollars so just think about that you get a lot of toner for eight dollars like that's a lot of toner it's eight ounces actually so yeah like i said it's an exfoliating solution so just make sure what you're getting yourself into when you buy that if you want to buy that for the amount that it is even though it's eight dollars you still get a lot of toner so i would hate for it to go to waste if that was something that you wanted to um purchase so yeah like i said we're doing skincare now um, the next thing I had was the Hyaluronic Acid from Sephora. This is the Sephora brand, their actual collection. So this is an all-day hydrator for hydrate and glow moisturizer. This is what the um, description actually says on the Sephora app. So it, I really didn't notice that it's literally Hyaluronic Acid. Like, that's just all it is. So I thought it was like a, it is a moisturizer, but it's literally just Hyaluronic Acid. Um, it's pretty lightweight. I guess I was trying to figure out how much it weighed in my hand <laughs> when I did that. I like the shake stuff. But yeah, it's a really good moisturizer. Hyaluronic acid, definitely that girl. If you don't know that girl, please get to know that girl. But um, yeah. Then we have the Universal Daily Peel by Dr. Dennis Gross. Gross, Gross, however. I love things that are by doctors because that means it's like by dermatologists. And that just makes me happy. But this is also something I got from Cairo too. Um, this is the medium one, I guess, because they have a sensitive skin one, then they have an extra strength one. So this is the one right in the middle. I was going to get the sensitive skin one, but they did not have any of the trial ones, these little mini boxes of them in Sephora, so I didn't. Um, if you watch Cairo, you know that what this is about. Um, use the step one to exfoliate and smooth the skin, then use the step two as a neutralizer. Um, it's kind of like the toning solution it's like an exfoliant daily exfoliant and it's supposed to give you spa results at home so that's the reason why i bought it because like i told y'all i'm trying to address my skin directly i always am but i feel like i really invested in some good products to really like really address my skin so this is why i bought that um so yeah that's a really good product to get into I don't know why I did this after that instead of doing it after the perfume that we already talked about. But this is Waze North Bondi E Du Parfum. Um, this smells like probably um, the Kim K Chris Jenner perfume, the one she did she made for her mom. That's what this smells like. It's very very florally and musky and sweet. Um, I really like it personally. I feel like it kind of smells like an old woman. I don't want to say that because I don't like the way that it sounds saying it because I don't want to be ageist or be a part of ageism because not me, but it smells good, y'all. My mama said she liked it, so that's why I was like, dang, this is a really mature perfume, but I mean, I'm mature. Um, whatever, like, I'll be 21 soon, so I'm getting older, but it smells so good. It just smells like powdery and sweet and just really clean. It kind of smells like the other perfume I showed y'all. It's just really, really clean, and like, I really love the bottle. Like, the way that it looks is how you can expect it to smell. The bottle is so cute. Um, this bottle retail for twenty dollars. It is a travel size. It is a spray instead of the roller ball, so that's important. Okay, y'all. So the next product we have is the face mist by Caudalie. This is a mini beauty elixir face mist. Um, Ed Beauty, I guess that's how you say that on the bottle. This is a French brand, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It's basically just grape water. Um, it's very very minty on the face very very refreshing um it is not a game 
but if you like stuff like that i definitely would get into that it's pretty gentle so but it is minty like i said so just make sure you know what you're getting yourself into because it's not a game it's definitely elixir but it definitely helps your skin glow it's something that i would put anybody on my skin definitely glows a lot because of this um, next is the shower oil from Lush that I was telling y'all about. The stuff we're going to talk about from Lush. So this smells very strong and sweet. It's kind of like a mix of a bunch of different essential oils all put together that makes that one scent. If you get what I'm saying? Like just a, like say avocado oil, grapeseed oil, just a bunch of random oils that smell good. And then you put them together, they smell even better. Um, but it's very, very potent. Potent. It's kind of like olive oil with vanilla, but then it has cocoa in there too, that it smells like. But it's just very, very yummy. Um, it's not, um, definitely not false advertisement. Like you can see on my finger, it's already getting oily. So, yeah, you're supposed to put it on your body, then rinse it off at the end. So, yeah, this is the shower oil. Um, the next one is the Sultana of Soap. So, this is like a unisex set. It's coming straight out of my shower because that's how good it smells to me. Um, it's kind of like cocoa butter, but it has bergamot at the same time, but not so strong as bergamot it comes off as like a smoother, sexier bergamot. Not like, um, I guess not like, like how it comes off rough to the nose. Like bergamot is not a game, but it's a little manlier. Um, it kind of smells like hair products, cocoa butter. Yeah, it just, yeah, it's just manly, but I like it. Not too manly though, not too manly. Um, the next one is the Sleepy Soap. So this one is um, made with lavender. And it kinda smells like lavender and demand. Um, I like unisex stuff. I think I said that earlier in this video. I'm not sure, but I'm saying it now. I do like unisex smells. Um, they just give me something like I don't always want to smell super duper you know like straight up sh candy like cause I do have those scents but I also like it a six scent so this has um yang lang 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 if you in a sense you know <laughs> you know what I'm talking about the lang lang um please forgive me if I'm saying it wrong but it's whatever um just has a very relaxing scent um I love the way Lush does their soap so they print it like it literally says Lush on the side really big you can't mistake that for nothing else it just smells so relaxing like it smells like the one I just showed but more subtle and soft it's, it's really 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 nice it's really nice this is some high quality soap you can just tell by looking at it it's very nice it smells so good and relaxing and that lavender is just something I'm not crazy about but it's definitely worth it if you're into it if you're into lavender um the next soap is the sandstone soap so this soap um just like the other ones very potent very strong it literally just smells like lemon like and I love lemon like I said I love manlier smells but I also love feminine smells so this literally smells like citrus lemon zest lemonade lemon slices lemons just lemons like and I love a lemony smell um excuse me um I love a lemony smell it just gives you straight up lemonade like you at a lemonade stand and someone just dashed a court like a big um What's that thing? A picture of lemonade on you, which is very citrusy. It smells very, very good. Moisturizing just like the rest of them. Um, definitely something to get into. I think all of these soaps are like 8 and $6. So I think that's a good price for the amount of soap that you get. And then we got some bath bombs. So this is the Butter Bear Bath Bomb. This one kind of smells like candy. It literally smells like the candy that you had as a kid. Like the Sweet Tarts and Smarties. Like any crumbly sweet candy you could think of this is definitely that um i thought it was so cute y'all like why would you want to put that in your bathtub like it's so cute it's so cute like come on but it just smells like candy anything sweet that you could think of this is what that is it smells like that and it's really soft it's like a really soft sweet it's not a you know crazy oh my gosh killing your nose sweet it's just a really soft and sweet and nice it's a very nice these are high quality products like they smell really good um this one is the butter bath butter ball bath bomb 
So this is the same scent smell as the one I just showed y'all, but this is the original, I guess. This is by far my favorite one. Um, this is this one smells really um, soft. It smells like cake almost. Um, it's very very feminine. A little bit powdery, which is exactly what I like. Like I said, I like unisex scents and feminine scents. So this is something that's definitely up my alley. Um, it smells like almost like a grandma on the powdery side like i don't know i don't want to keep saying it smells like old people but it does kind of smell like the north bonnie perfume by way that i just showed y'all it just has very powdery elements like and powdery usually correlates with older more, more mature people's section of perfume which is nothing wrong with that ain't nothing wrong with that like you want to get it out of the tub smelling fresh like a powder baby so yeah that's what that is um so this is a kim k fragrance y'all fragrance did i just say fragrance did i really just say that um kim k fragrance um kim k w sorry let me not let me get her right kim k w um so this is the nude one that she has which is supposed to be um for kylie jenner this one smells like very mature very um it kind of smells like caramel almost there was this saying people were saying that it smells like vanilla sugar something from um from bath and body works one of their fragrance mists i actually don't own any of those so i don't know what that smells like i'm not trying to be funny i'm not trying to be funny i literally don't own any bath and body works um mist so i don't know what that smells like but it smells really good to me honestly it just smells like a night it smells how it looks um the bottle does not quite look like the box color but i i don't know i guess that was just just for advertising i feel like the lips were supposed to be a little bit more pinky instead of so um like yellow but it still smells good the scent notes on this are well, it's a lot of scent notes. I can't read all of that, but it says vanilla amber musk is what it's supposed to smell like, which definitely it does. It smells really good. Um, it also has jasmine in there, and it says lily of the valley. So those are all things that I really love. The packaging is nice. It is only 1.7 fluid ounces, so you don't get that much, but I don't feel like you need to put on too much of this, like, because it's a very um, strong perfume, in my opinion. But perfumes kind of do settle into my skin and my skin chemistry fast. So I do have to spray more than usual. But this smells very, very good. Very grown. Very mature. Miss girl. Retail for $40. So y'all, if that's something y'all are interested in, I would definitely go pick it up. And it's supposed to last 36 months, which is three years. Which I don't know if that's going to be the case for me. But yeah, Kim K did her thing. Even though I'm struggling with her. But but I'm, I'm growing on. She's growing on me. I'm, I'm, I'm trying wear, but yeah, this one is very good, very, very good. The ball is cute. I like it. So I'm put her right over there, right over there with my Nicki Minaj. And the last thing that I have for y'all, I almost forgot to show y'all was um, the lip balm and lip scrub from Lush. Um, so the lip scrub is you can actually see who it was made by which is very different and that's how i know that i'm into this so fun fact i dropped this that's why I so much missing i did just buy this i just dropped it i have a habit no i don't i'm not gonna speak it over myself but i sometimes i just drop things um i don't i don't know what happened i dropped it in the sink i was very mad but it literally smells like what it's called it's very much a cookie dough fragrance given what it's supposed to give then um the lip service lip balm is literally just beeswax nothing crazy nothing insane um like i said um yeah it's really moisturizing it's kind of like the um burst bees stuff it's kind of like that just in a tin can um it does expire within a year so you get your year's worth which you really you not gonna need this a whole year it's probably gonna last in a few months but yeah, it's a cute little tin. Um, same thing with the lip scrub. It's kind of self-explanatory. But they're good products. I think both of those retail for 12 bucks.
said they started a date. I've never heard of fuck o'clock before. She thought they gonna fuck from me. This is this so my favorite funny. one. Ain't nothing open at that time and I believe. In Waffle House. Waffle House and That's Lake. That's it. That's it. I'm the only to the Charcuterie. That, I heard that's, something said before and it sounded like that. <laughs> yeah, that's how I heard it. I've never heard. I think I have heard. I've heard everything, but I'm pretty sure it's charcuterie. Look, sure the fancy tray with the meat and cheese. <laughs> okay, good morning. Oh, good afternoon. I don't want y'all to see my text. It's 12 away. We're going to get brunch. It's December 19th. And y'all, I finally got my hair done. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not in my room, as y'all can see. I'm at my cousin's house, so yeah. But we're going to get brunch, so. What's a speak? Hmm? They want to speak. She wants to speak. Hello, don't mind my room, guys. They can't so, see yeah. your room. Oh, yeah. they just see the wall. But yeah, we're finna go. So. We'll see you guys there. <laughs> 